Hey, hello and welcome. Today we are going I'm going to show you how to update your Android apps on your Android phone uh manually cuz uh, a lot of times it says there's updates for your phone or you don't even know there's updates and there really are updates for your phone. And first off, you're going to go and go and click on the menu button on the bottom so you can see all of your apps on your phone like so. And then you're going to scroll down to the Play Store, so it's going to be under P. Look for our Play Store. You see Play Store there, towards the bottom on the right. Touch Play Store, and it'll pull up the Play Store here as it loads. All right, so it'll load to the Play Store. Then you want to hit the menu button on your bottom of your phone. There's a, a button. You should use your real button, or it's next to the home button. That's the real button on the outside of your phone. You want to push that menu button, which will pull up this menu here on the bottom. And then you're going to hit on My Apps. So touch My Apps. And then it will pull up all of your apps that you have installed on your phone. And then it shows here at the top, it says Updates. You have three updates, which is those top three in that block. And then the other one that farther down says Up to Date. You know, I have 42 up to date and I have three that are out of date. So in order to update these, you just select on one of them, like I'm going to select on the Google Plus. So I touch the Google Plus, and then it's going to load the Google Plus app, which looks like this. And see, it, there's a box there that says that you can check this as allow automatic updating. If you check that box, it'll automatically update whenever there's a new update for this app. And you have to do this for every app that you have. Otherwise, if you want to do a manual update, then you just hit the update button there at the top. So you hit update, and then it's going to pop up and ask you to accept and download the terms here. There, there it goes. So I'm going to hit accept and download, and now it's downloading the update here. As you can see, it's updating that. Alright, and while this one's downloading, you can hit the back arrow that's on the bottom of your screen with the home and that menu button. If you hit that back arrow, you can go back to your other apps and you can see that it's downloading that update and it shows that I still have two other updates so I'm going to go ahead and click on the Bible app and there it is shows the update and it says it's checked to set it that it's allowing it to auto update it just hasn't kicked in yet to do the auto update so I'm going to go ahead and click the update button and do it myself and then press the accept and download so now that one's doing the update as well, as you can see. But now it's going to take a little bit because I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm just on the 3G network. So um, preferably if you're on the 3G network, I would just download one at a time. Otherwise it tries to do both of them at the same time and then the internet gets slow on the, comp or on the phone. And then if you're trying to surf the internet, it doesn't work out too well. Alright, well I'm going to let that one go. So I'm going to go back here. And you see it's got it kind of like in a queue here. Google Plus is going first. And then that Bible one will try to jump in there at the same time. And then I got that one more here. If I click on the Google Play Movies and TV. <coughs> see now it says loading. Those pictures take a little bit longer to load since I'm doing an update. And then if I scroll down a little bit here, you can see that the auto-update is unchecked on this one also. So I don't want this one to auto-update. <coughs> so if I want to update it, I just click the update button and then it will update it. Alright, so I'm going to go back. I'm not going to update that one right now. So you can, as you can see, both of these are going through here, still updating. So it can take some time. Alright, so that's how you do a manual update. Or you can set it to do auto-update. So I showed you how to do the auto-update or the manual update on your Android device. Could be on your phone or tablet. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. There'll be more to come with Android devices. Thanks. Have a great day.